This set of notes is about how to use a dichotomous key okay, that you see there to the left um, on the bottom of the slide. So real quickly, just historically, um, you need to know that physical characteristics were the first way that uh, scientists identified organisms, and that's the most traditional method by which we identify organisms and classify them. Um, we can also include looking at the behavior of a species, looking at developmental patterns of the species, looking at evolutionary relationships between species, and then looking at DNA and RNA and comparing genetic information. Um, that being said, we're going to focus on looking at physical characteristics when we use a dichotomous key. So a dichotomous key is a tool that's used in taxonomy. We've got an example over here on the right. Um, in order to determine the name of a spe specimen in nature. So just as kind of a point of reference before we use this particular key, let's say that you said, okay, I'm going to use a dichotomous key to go out into the forest and identify trees, but that you, you know, don't know for sure exactly what tree species um, is species A versus B versus C, but you've got a key and you've got enough knowledge to use that key well. So you would look at the bark, the leaf, um, the leaves, like the what's called the venation on the leaves, for example, um, and try to identify that specific name of that tree. So that's what we're going to do as far as using dichotomous keys in this class. So this is really just more of a process skill and how to use this. Okay, so dichotomous key is always going to consist of a series of statements or choices that are in pairs, okay, and they're always going to be like 1A and 1B, 2A and 2B, right, and then the key may be hundreds of paired statements long, it may be kind of short like this one is, so we're going to um, use candy to just kind of go through and make you understand how to do this, and then you'll have homework in your dichotomous key lab. All right, so real quickly, um, whenever you're using a dichotomous key, when it gives you a number, like you can see two and seven are your choices on that first line, um, sometimes they say go to, like go to number two or go to number seven, and you're going to follow those numbers until you get to an answer, okay, and in this case, these are supposed to be written as scientific names, they're just not um, italicized, okay, and so Real quickly, let's start with that we're going to key out, okay, we can do, all right, that piece of candy, okay. So let's start with we would choose, because most people have probably had what we can see there for number eight, if I were giving you this as an assignment, um, is the candy chewy or is the candy hard, right? Well, I would hope we would pick chewy because you can bite into these. That would send you to number two. So is the candy wrapped or not wrapped? Okay, notice it was, if it was not wrapped, we'd have an answer. Because it's wrapped, we go to number three. All right, is the candy rounded or not rounded? Okay, so we could go, what do we say there? Is it rounded or is it not rounded? Well, that might kind of depend on your perception of what that means, okay? So let's go with not rounded, All right? That sends us to number five. Okay, we choose between is the wrapper brown and white or is the wrapper not brown and white. It's not brown and white, okay, for 5B, so that sends us to 6. The wrapper is silver or the wrapper varies in color. Well, this wrapper is silver. So this is chocolatus sisson, okay, for a chocolate kiss. Sisson is kiss, okay. So we've keyed out that particular candy to give us a Hershey kiss. All right, so squeezing that picture um, into the slide. Okay, so let's do this one next. So we've got, is the candy chewy or hard? Again, for 1A and 1B. Um, it's chewy. You can chew into it. Okay, so let's go to number two. Is the candy wrapped or not wrapped? Okay, the candy's wrapped again, so that's going to send us to number three. Is the candy rounded or not rounded? This is probably easier. Okay, that sends you to number five again. Is the wrapper brown and white or not brown and white? It's not brown and white, so that's going to send us to six. Okay, is the wrapper silver or does the wrapper vary in color? Well, now it varies in color, so that's a Stellaria explodus. Okay, so explodus is burst and Stellaria is star for a starburst. Okay, so we've keyed out that one. All right, so then here's another one. So we're going to choose between 1A and 1B. Is the candy chewy or is it hard? 
This time it's hard. So notice we're skipping all the way down to number seven, okay? What that means is that two through six are, are completely irrelevant for keying out this particular candy, okay? So for seven, is the candy spherical or ball-shaped or is it not spherical? So it's not ser spherical, sorry, got tongue-tied. That's gonna send us to number nine, okay? And so then is the wrapper transparent or does the wrapper tell the flavor, right? And we can see cherry and we can see blue raspberry and we can see a tiny bit of grape up at the top. So the wrapper tells the flavor. So that's joyous rancheria for Jolly Rancher, right? So now that's just a quick tutorial on how to use a dichotomous key. And then you're gonna have to do this and I'm gonna give you a little bit more information about it, but um, you need to make sure that you've that you're prepared for this for class and for lab. Let me know if you have any questions.